Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2017 Great Lakes Christian Film Festival Facebook Live Online Awards Ceremony. Our first presenter tonight, guest presenter, director, producer, and writer, Sherelle Thorne. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the 2017 Great Lakes Christian Film Festival. Woo woo! Let's turn it up for Christian film festivals and Christian faith based movies and documentaries and short films and all that. Anyway, my name is Sherelle Thorne. I am one of the guest presenters for the Best of the Fest Award Ceremony. So please, will you help me welcome our first guest presenter, Director Robert Bowen? Good evening, everyone. So, get right to it. And our 2017 Best Foreign Films. The nominees are Alleluia, Caged In, and Samuel, The Birth of a Prophet. The winner goes to... My mistake. <laughs> the winners of the best foreign films from Spain, Alleluia, from Caged In at, in Australia, and from Canada, Samuel, The Birth of a Prophet. Give them a hand. <laughs> All right. Moving on to our best feature film. The nominees are. Pass the Light, Restoration, Divine Will, Heritage Falls, Unbridled, Undeserved, and Because of Garcia. The winner is for Best Feature Film, Pass the Light. Yay! Congratulations. Next, for best documentary long form, you have Alleluia, The Battle for Brandon, The Atheist Delusion, The Caravan Film, Luther, The Life and Legacy of German Reformer, Invisible, The Story of Hope of Mexico's Street Kids, The Face of Mercy. For best documentary long, the winner is Hallelujah. All right, moving on to our best documentary short. The nominees is the least of these. Gospel music is the Prodigal Confession. By War and by God, Project Reformation, Call to Tanya, and Cowboy Church. The winner goes to By War and by God. Hey. 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 Now, next to the ne next best short film, over 20 minutes. The nominees are Found. Shine, The Town We Lived In, A Matter of Perspective, The Prayers Club, A, a, a Passionado, and A Heart Under Shadow. The winner is Found. Yay! The next category is Best 
short film under 20 minutes. The nominees are Samuel, The Birth of a Prophet, Caged In, Father Daughter Dance, Crossroad, One Day, Shadows of Glow, and Sons of a Man. The winner for Best Short Film Under 20 Minutes is One Day. Cheryl Thorne, writer-producer, will come up to be the next presenter. Hello, everybody. It's me again. Okay. I'm going to present to you the nominees for Best Student Film. Samuel, The Birth of a Prophet, Project Reformation, Appassionado, A Heart Under Shadow, Father Daughter Dance, and The List. And the winner for Best Student Film is Appassionado. <laughs> Next category, Best Director of a Feature. Malcolm Goodwin for Past the Light. Jeremiah McLamp for Restoration, Ken Jones, Divine Will, Shay Sizemore, Heritage Falls, John David Ware, Unbridled, Mark Steele, Undeserved, Tom Sines, Because of Gracia. And the winner for Best Director Feature is Malcolm Goodwin, Pass the Line. <laughs>
Best Actor in a Feature, Ken Stewart for Restoration. The next nominee is for Best Actor for Short Film. Jeremy Levi for Caged In. Jose Rufino, Appassionato, Robert Casiola, With My Soul, Andrew Hurt, One Day, Sheldon Ba, Found, Asmani Rodriguez, Crossroad, and Scott Thought, The Towns We Live In. And the winner is for the best actor in a short, Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy Levi. I'm sorry, I didn't read this. <laughs> Jeremy Levi. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so finally, uh, we'll continue on. The next nominee is for Best Actress. Uh, we're going to begin. Uh, Alexandria DeBerry in Past the Life. Victoria Anastasi for Restoration. Mariah Peters because of Gracia. Emily Kimball, Undeserved. Taya McKay, Unbridled. Catherine Boswell, Divine Will. And Nancy Stafford, Heritage Falls. And the winner for Best Actress in a Feature is Emily Kimball. <laughs> We have Best Actress in a Short, and that would be Annabelle Neal in Shadows a Glow, Mia Johnson in To the Light, Adele Norana, Samuel, The Birth of a Prophet, Zadashi Brown, With My Soul, Natasha Shinko, Crossroads, Caitlin Foy, The Towns We Lived In, and Maggie Meyer, Caged in. And the winner for Best Actress in a Short is Zadashi Brown with my <laughs> Next we have Best Supporting Actor. This will be in a feature, I believe. Um, T.C. Stallings in Unbridled. Dapra Grayer in Past the Light. John Quick. In restoration, Adam Elliot Davis, undeserved. Brent Reed, divine will. John Schneider, because of Gracia. And Gus Kostrakani, Samuel, the birth of a prophet. And the winner for best supporting actor is Adam Elliot Davis, in undeserved. <laughs> Best actor in the shorts. Jeremy Levi in Caged In. Wait, I just did that one. Sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. Well, moving on. Best supporting actress. Best supporting actress. Julie Al Oliver Touchstone, Into the Light. Malena Govich, Past the Light. Katie O'Grady, in Undeserved. Kat Mosher, Divine Will, Macy McLean, Because of Gracia, Rhonda Roscoe, A Matter of Perspective, and Jen Gotson in Unbridled. And the best supporting actress is Jen Gotson. I am now going to turn it back over to Robert, who's going to continue the nominations. Okay, moving on. Best Child Actor, Actress. The nominees is Nia Johnson, Into the Light, Kareem Fahmy, Samuel, The Birth of a Prophet, Dawson Chawcraft, Crucified, Melissa Meyer, Caged In, and Maggie Montgomery, Torn Purple. 
The winner goes to Nia Johnson. And for the live. Moving on to Best Comedy, our nominees are The Prayer Club, Heritage Falls, and The Lost Keys. The winner goes to The Prayer Club. Thank you, Sherelle. Thank you, Robert and Amanda for 
helping us with the announcements. They were better dressed than I was. So I said, uh, well, they're going to be our guest announcer then and uh, presenter. So I'm really grateful for that. And because we uh, decided to do an online version, we didn't have the accepted speeches uh, broadcasting, but I want you, uh, everybody that's watching on Facebook Live right now, to go to the website and go to the Facebook page. We're going to put some accepted speeches that were pre-recorded. Uh, I have to give them a, a tip, but uh, some of the funny ones are going to be posted very soon, but that's the Facebook. It's GLCFF. And the website, glcff.com. So I'm really grateful. This is our third year. This is our uh, new venue. We had started in a small little church in South Buffalo called the Bread of Life. They are pretty much the support group for making this work. Uh, the, some of the logistics behind it. Uh, yes, I, I'm the one that loses sleep over everything, though. Uh, being an executive producer of anything, even if you're doing a film, um, an event, it doesn't matter what it is you're doing. You're the one losing sleepover because that's your passion. That's your little baby, so to speak. So I'm excited to be a part of this. I'm excited to bring people from out of town into our city of Buffalo. Uh, it was really bad weather Friday, so that was bad news. It was bad uh, impression that we made on our visitors so, uh, pretty sad about that. Like a thunderstorm happened. I don't know what's going on. Were, were we in Florida or what? I mean, that's kind of, that's the weather they had down there. My, my friends in Tampa Bay, they know, they understand what I'm talking about. But what I want to do to uh, tail this off, first of all, let's just give a hand for all the winners and the nominees. <laughs> and we do have some nominees uh, in the building as well. And... Um, but we have a special presentation that I want to give. Uh, I'm going to have uh, an appreciation for those that contributed to our uh, success this year. First of all, we had a wonderful director panel today. And that was uh, comprised of uh, five panelists. And Ms. Sherelle was a part of it. I want to thank you for that. Thank you so much for your participation. Mr. Robert Bowen was also a part of that panel. Thank you. And Greg, whose last name I never will be able to pronounce. Go ahead. How do you pronounce it? Say it again. Batty and Sella. Batty and Sella. You'll never hear me say it right next time. So, so shout out to Greg. First of all, I want to say that Greg, from the first second we started this festival, has been here the whole time. And he yeah. watched every single film. Yeah. So if you want somebody that, just like myself, I watched every minute of it. If you want to know a uh, second opinion about any project, that's the guy. Yeah. So yeah. I'm really thankful for you for what you've done. So what I'm going to do too, um, and I want to thank Tracy Brown. Yeah. Tracy Brown is an administrator got her own company and she services uh, several clients and administrative duties <laughs> and when I heard about that last year uh, I said you know what I'm recruiting you mm -hmm. and ever since then um, we've uh, generated some uh, uh, you know interest in, in building this for the future now so I'm excited about that and of course Rosemary Feliciano she was doing an excellent job behind the scenes a lot of people don't don't know who's doing what behind the scenes, but she was an excellent, excellent person as far as that. We also had an actor's workshop today. I want to really thank uh, Frank um, Rossi, who's our local acting coach now for the last 12 years. But he's from Buffalo, New York originally. But he's been in Miami Vice, uh, White Man Can't Jump. He was in several uh, soap operas, a lot of stage productions, and he's a student of Stella Adler. He said, yes, I'll come to your festival. And it wasn't just because it was Christian, but it was because I was a veteran. How about that? Oh, wow. What an honor that was. And he made that very clear. That's why, because I was a veteran. So thank you. And we, we thank anybody that honors the veterans. So thank you, Frank Rossi, for all you've done. Okay. Special appearances we had. We had 
Lindsay Partridge brought two horses of hers from uh, near uh, Toronto, Canada. And she made a special trip here to do that on the grounds here. We had a great time. We brought the banner out. Once again, Greg was a part of helping take care of that too and Rosemary. So I'm, I, you just don't know. I'm blessed by these people that, that supported that special against parents and made it special for us. So Lindsay Partridge, thank you for your participation. She represented the movie Unbridled. Um, and she was actually in the movie. She was uh, one of the horse trainers. So if you get a chance to watch that Unbridled movie, it's great. Uh, once again, the support team, the uh, several service companies that made sure we had the right equipment and everything that helped us out. And we even had a donation from Wagmans, uh, which is our local grocery store, that gave us a whole spool of balloon thread. I just want to give them props for that. It's like the most exciting thing we ever had out of this whole thing. So, um, so thank you for that. We, we were looking for black balloon thread. We couldn't find it anywhere. And they had it behind their counter. And, and the lady says, here you go. Isn't that God? Yeah. Spent thousands of dollars on other things, but I still get a free spool of a balloon thread. Man, God is awesome. The little things I'm appreciative of. So, and uh, what I want to I want to do on camera on Facebook Live, I want to give medallions to our special people that have helped us. So I'm going to call you one at a time. Uh, Robert Bowen, come on up. Amanda Bowen. You see why I'm, I, the way I'm dressed and the way they're dressed? Oh my goodness. <laughs> nominee uh, from different categories uh, that were announced, so that's all online. But I want to thank you for your, I mean, your dedication to make sure and supporting to make sure this worked. And I want to give you a minute to say something, too. Here. Thank you, bud. Appreciate right. it. Yes, thank you. Uh, thanks to uh, the Great Lakes Christian Film Festival and Sean for your hard work. Um, this takes time and, and a vision. And you got it, and I, I think that when we're here and we're seeing uh, got it working people, uh, artists who are coming together and longing for community and feedback and interaction, uh, we're seeing it here, and that's a good thing. It's a healthy thing. So uh, I'm I'm thankful to be here, and I'm I'm hoping for continued success. Now that you're laying the groundwork for something in the future, and uh, uh, love to continue to be part of it, and I'm hoping that uh, this is an encouragement to other artists that are out there. Uh, this is a chance for folks to um, become involved and become part of something. And uh, you know, in, in the church, sometimes we get stuck with, well, what does this do? And in a way, sometimes we have to kind of encourage, encourage each other by saying, um, that was beautiful. So I'm, I'm thankful for uh, everybody here, and I'm glad that you're, you're doing this for people. Thank you, Greg. Let's give Greg a hand. He had to go against uh, the movie Lost Keys. He had to go against uh, Prayers Club. That was a very difficult category. So uh, just give him props. It was a funny movie. So, and Rosemary Feliciano, come on up. I see people are not expecting to be put on the spot, but I don't care. So. Give her a hand, Rosemary. Uh, and somebody that is really doing a lot behind the scenes, really making sure this is functional and proper and coaching me as I'm doing it too. So uh, I want to bring up Miss Tracy Brown. <laughs> you can milk this all you want.
I met her real quick through uh, Mr. Christopher Pierman. Christopher Pierman is the father of Raven Simone. He came into Buffalo last year and he created a stage production and I was cast in it. She was the administrator for that uh, project and that's how I met her. And uh, Chris Pierman called her DJ Trey Trey. Oh, oh yes, I'm, bla- I'm putting that on blast. Uh, because she was always playing the music for while we were singing and all that kind of stuff. So luckily I didn't have a singing part, but DJ Trey Trey for everything she does. Uh, for all your personal, you know, assistant needs and office assistant needs, that's the person you want to go to. Uh, our virtual office team dot com. All right, so I plug for you. All right, last but not least, I got two more medallions to give out. Um, I'll give one to myself for. <laughs> Hang on. Sean, I just want to thank you for all the hard work and dedication you put to this festival. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, uh, you can leave now. So, uh, uh, there's other. I wanted to give. I actually gave a couple other medallions out because they couldn't attend. Uh, Frank um, got. Frank had one. So Frank uh, Rossi. And also, uh, we uh, we had a couple winners that came that could not attend. So once again, we're going to put some of those videos on our Facebook and possibly YouTube. We'll try to put together a nice little production for you guys to watch post production. But that's going to take time. It's not going to happen this week. I'm very tired. I'm going to take Sunday off. I've already told my church that's what I'm doing. So uh, they're very they understand and they were really in agreement with that. But once again, thanks again for all of the winners of the festival. And the continuation of this starts immediately. We're gonna start uh, at the end of this week, opening up for People's Choice Awards. So when you guys go home, come back to the website, you'll see all the nominations uh, for People's Choice. And then you guys decide, based on uh, people that have participated, your favorite film for those categories. And it's only gonna be uh, a few a uh, few categories for that. So it'll be best feature, best documentary long, best doc- documentary short, uh, best short film over 20, best short film under 20, best music video, and then there's a category we call fan favorites. That's basically open to whatever you want to put in there. Do you want to put down your best favorite actor, uh, best narrator, best sound, doesn't matter. You put whatever category you want, that's your favorite. So. We're going to give everybody the props and announce that uh, by September. All right? So we're going to collect all that information for this month and announce in September the People's Choice for 2017 Great Lakes Christian Film Festival. Lastly, immediately t- starting tomorrow morning. I'm sorry. That is Saturday, isn't it? Starting Monday morning, which will be August, help me out here, 7th? Yeah. August 7th, 2017, we are immediately beginning accepting submissions for 2018 Great Lakes Christian Film Festival. And we're going to have it here again at the Millennium Hotel. So we hope that there's no bad weather that's going to stop you. But I'm telling you, you need to be here next year because we're going to have uh, an amazing lineup. And I'm not going to give it away yet. But I already have confirmation of one. And one of them was a winner from here. Uh, but also somebody that was a winner from our very first year. So it's going to be exciting. And I'll let everybody that's here know. But you guys, you're not going to know. I'm not going to tell you anything. So tune in. Great Lakes Christian Film Festival, Buffalo, New York. It's Great Lakes Christian Film Festival, GLC, GLCFF.com. i got to read it, don't I? I'm tired. Uh, I'm so excited for the people that came the last three years even and the people that are, will be coming. I'm going to be praying for you, your projects, your film, that – uh, money flows, you know, and the projects just get paid for. And, you know, we know in the kingdom of God, we know how it works. Those of us that sow, those of us that, that you know, give money and whatever to the poor, it doesn't matter where we're giving the money. But if we do it unto the Lord, we know that it's always going to return to us. And a lot of people, a lot of rich people understand the concept of what giving does. And you always get back, always. So some of the richest people in the world, not all of them Christian give anyways that they know the concept they understand it so 
Give and it shall be given unto you, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Thanks once again, Facebook Live. Thanks for tuning in or watching this later. And once again, just log on, stay tuned, and I'd like to see you next year. God bless everybody.